Pattern number 44 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, February 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 44 Recipit for a Stocking. Number 10 Mee's Persian Thread and Needles number 22 are the proper sizes. Cast on 56 stitches on the first needle, and 48 on each of the other two. Knit one row plain. Second row. Knit 40 stitches plain, seam a stitch. Knit all round plain. Knit 12 rows in the same way, all plain but the seam stitch. Now the pattern begins. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, Knit 15 plain. This will bring you to the center seam stitch. Seam this stitch, and knit 15 plain. This brings you to the end of the first needle. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, knit 23 plain. This will end the second needle. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, knit 23 plain. This ends the third needle. Seam a stitch, knit six plain stitches. Bring the cotton forward, knit one, bring the cotton forward, and knit one. Continue to bring the cotton forward and knit one till you have made twelve additional stitches. Knit five plain, seam a stitch, knit fifteen, seam a stitch, knit fifteen. This is the back of the stocking, and must always be knit the same. Fifteen plain, one seamed, and fifteen plain. Seam a stitch, knit six plain, bring the cotton forward, and knit one. Continue this till you have made twelve additional stitches as before. Knit five, seam a stitch, knit six, bring the cotton forward, and make twelve stitches as before. Knit five, seam a stitch, Knit six, make twelve stitches as before. Knit five, seam a stitch, knit six, make twelve as before, and knit five. This finishes the row, and you have sixty additional stitches for the pattern. Seam a stitch and knit thirty five plain. Seam a stitch and knit the back of the stocking. Seam a stitch and knit thirty five. Seam and knit thirty five. Seam and knit thirty five. Seam and knit thirty five. This ends the row. Knit two rows more, same as the last. You have made stitches enough for the pattern and begin it. First row. Seam a stitch. Knit two together six times. Bring the cotton forward and knit one. Continue this till you have eleven holes made. Bring the cotton forward and slip a stitch, knit a stitch, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, slip a stitch, knit a stitch, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Continue to slip a stitch, knit a stitch, and pull the slipped one over it four times more, which should bring you to the seam stitch. Knit the back of the stocking, and continue this pattern round the other two needles, which will conclude the row. The next three rows are knit plain, except the seam stitches, which must be attended to. This finishes the pattern, and you begin again at the first row, and repeat the pattern forty-five times. You then begin the heel. Knit the seam stitch on the first needle plain, then knit the pattern row of the stripe. Knit the back of the stocking, and knit the first stripe off of the next needle using the needle you have knit the stripe and the back of the stocking with, remembering that this is the pattern row. Knit the seam stitch at the end of the stripe plain. You have now two stripes and the plain back of the stocking on the heel needles, and three stripes on the front of the stocking. With the front you have at present nothing to do. The first or pattern row of the heel is knit. The remainder of the heel is to be knit with double thread. Second row. Slip a stitch, 
Seam 35 stitches. Knit to plain stitch. Seam 15. Knit one plain. Seam 15. Knit one plain. Seam 36. Third row. Slip a stitch. Knit 35. Seam a stitch. Knit 15. Seam a stitch. Knit 15. Seam a stitch. Knit 36. Fourth row. Slip 1. Seam 35. Knit 1 plain. Seam 15. Knit 1 plain. Seam 15. Knit 1 plain. Seam 36. Begin again with the pattern row, remembering that there is one plain stitch at the beginning and end of each needle, which stitch must be slipped at the beginning of every row. Repeat this pattern nine times. At the tenth time, slip a stitch, knit seven double stitches, make eight holes, narrowing from the last hole seven times, in the same manner as usual. This will reduce the pattern six stitches. For the eleventh time, slip one, knit seven double stitches, make two holes, narrowing from the second hole in the usual manner. This will have reduced the heel fourteen stitches in each stripe, and finishes the pattern. Knit ten plain rows, knitting all the seam stitches except the middle one plain. The heel must now be closed. The narrowing must begin in the row of plain knitting, not the seamed one. Knit twenty-six stitches, knit two together, knit eleven stitches, which brings you to the seam, knit eleven stitches beyond the seam, slip a stitch, knit a stitch, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, turn back, slip one stitch, and seam eleven stitches. Knit the seam stitch plain, seam 11 stitches, seam 2 together, turn back, slip a stitch, knit to the seam stitch, and 11 stitches beyond, slip a stitch, knit a stitch, and pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Continue this narrowing till you have knit up all the stitches at each side. Take up the loops all along the side of the heel. They should be 29. Knit them with the single thread, knitting the two last on the needle together. This begins the gore. Knit the three stripes on the front needle, in the pattern as usual, only remembering that you have no seam stitch between the gore and the pattern. Take up the loops all along the second side of the heel, and take half the heel stitches on the same needle. Then slip the first stitch. Knit the second, pull the slipped stitch over it, knit the remaining stitches on the needle. There should now be 41 stitches on each of the side needles. The middle of the heel ends the row. Therefore, the first needle is the one which begins from that place. Knit 15 stitches plain, make a stitch by taking up a loop of the last row, knit 3 stitches, Make another as before. Continue to knit three and make one till you have increased eleven stitches, which will bring you within four stitches of the end of the needle. Knit them plain. Knit the front needle in the second row of pattern, knitting thirty-five and seaming one, knitting thirty-five, seaming one, knitting thirty-five, which ends the needle. Knit three stitches, Make one, knit three as before, till you have made eleven. Knit fifteen plain, which ends the row. There should now be fifty-one stitches on each of the side needles. You must knit to within two stitches of the end of the first needle. Knit them together. Knit the front needle in third row of pattern. Third needle. Slip a stitch, knit a stitch. Pull the slipped stitch over it. Knit to the end of the needle plain. The next row is not to be narrowed at either place. Continue to narrow the side needles as directed every second row, 
carrying on the pattern on the front needle, till you have reduced the stitches on each side needle, the first to 35 and the second to 36 stitches, there will now be 173 stitches all round. Continue to knit the side needles plain, and the front in pattern, till you have repeated the pattern from the beginning of the gore 32 times. Join on the second thread, and narrow the pattern 14 stitches in each stripe in the manner directed for the heel. There will now be 136 stitches on the needles. Knit 8 plain rows. Divide the stitches exactly, leaving 68 on the front needle and 34 on each of the side needles. The first needle of the row is the same as before. Knit to within 3 stitches of the end, slip 1, knit 1, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, knit 1 plain, second needle, knit 1 plain stitch, knit 2 together, knit to within 3 stitches of the end, slip 1, knit 1, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, knit 1 plain, third needle, knit 1 plain, knit 2 together, knit 1 to the end. Knit one plain row all round. Continue these alternate rounds till you have reduced the stitches to 88. Then narrow every row, as directed, till there remain only 30 stitches on the front needle and 15 on each of the others. Cast off and fasten the thread. End of pattern 44